So tonight, this year marks 50 years of what's been called the most terrible crime ever committed in the state of Indiana. It involved the torture and murder of 16-year-old Sylvia Marie Likens in our city's near east side. Well, tonight her sister has now vanished. It's part of a missing persons investigation in California that has homicide investigators wondering exactly what happened. The night beats Emily Longnecker is following that search and she spoke with relatives here. Emily? Well, John and Andrea, Sylvia Likens cousins in Lebanon tell me they hadn't heard from Sylvia's older sister Diana in years. Now to hear that she's missing brings the tragedy of Sylvia's murder back to them like it was yesterday. Sylvia, oh Sylvia, we love you so. Diana Sylvia, Bedwell never oh, forgot Sylvia. her little sister Sylvia Likens. Sylvia, oh Sylvia, from our hearts never ever will you go. Or the horrific way she died tortured and murdered at the hands of her caregivers at a house on the east side. It was a crime that garnered worldwide attention. This is Diana at Willard Park in 2001 at a ceremony to dedicate a memorial to Sylvia. Now it's Diana and her husband who may be in trouble, and cousins who haven't seen Diana in years hope they haven't met a tragic fate like her little sister. I can't believe it. Things are happening again in our family. <laughs> The San Diego County Sheriff's Department says Diana and her husband Cecil were last seen on surveillance video, leaving the Valley View Casino in Valley Center Sunday afternoon around 2. They were due at their son's house by 4 for a Mother's Day dinner. They never got there. I don't know if they were abducted or if they just went down a nasty hill that we just can't find them. Robert Acosta says his parents are both diabetic and depend on insulin. Well, I do know that my mom has to make frequent bathroom breaks. And so I worry about what their jewelry on. I, I just, all these thoughts are going through my mind. I, I don't know, I just need answers. Family back here would like answers too. I'm sure somebody will find them. I hope they're alive. I do. They're still living with the ghosts of Sylvia's murder in a family they say that was never the same again. The family is not together no more like they used to be. We used to be really close. But we're not that close now. Investigators have done air and ground searches for the couple so far. Nothing. They were last seen driving a 2014 white Hyundai Sonata. Police have brought in homicide investigators, which they say is procedure in missing persons cases like this. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.